U.S. midterms, Republican red wave looking more like a ripple. Democrats may lose control of the House of Representatives and could yet lose the Senate as well, but still they will be breathing a huge sigh of relief. They ran campaigns that focused on abortion rights and warnings that American democracy was in peril, while Republicans blamed President Joe Biden's administration for the rising cost of living. Exit polls suggest that the economy and inflation were the biggest concerns for voters, which should have benefited Republicans. The party in power in Washington usually loses seats in the midterm elections and President Biden appears set to lose fewer seats than either Barack Obama or Donald Trump did at this stage in their presidencies. The mood inside the White House, where President Biden has been making congratulatory calls to victorious Democrats, is a mix of excitement and validation as returns show there is no red wave, according to the BBC's broadcast partner CBS. However, a Republican majority in either of the houses of Congress would mean that they could block almost every piece of legislation President Biden proposes. The biggest winner of the night so far is Republican Ron DeSantis, re-elected as governor of Florida with a much increased majority. It is well known that he has ambitions to run for president. So his victory is being closely watched by one of his constituents at the Mar-a-Lago resort, Donald Trump. Republican Ron DeSantis won a second term as Florida governor, bolstering his credentials as a potential 2024 presidential candidate. Mr. Trump has already nicknamed him Ron DeSanctimonious and on Tuesday night appeared to threaten that if Mr. DeSantis dared to run against him for the Republican nomination in 2024, he would reveal damaging information about him. We have yet to see whether some of the more controversial candidates endorsed by Mr. Trump can win. In a TV interview with News Nation, he said, Well, I think if they win, I should get all the credit, and if they lose, I should not be blamed at all. That will be a test of Mr. Trump's electoral appeal as he appears poised to announce next week that he is running for president again.